Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. This is Lunar Goddess Tarot. I'll be your intuitive guide and your tarot card reader today. Today I'm taking you on a journey, a journey, a story of the twin flame dynamic. If you're here for the first time, welcome in. Do have a look around, do subscribe, do like and share my videos, please. It helps the channel tremendously and it also helps the people who really need these videos the people who are out there alone and confused it helps them find our channel and i just want to give a shout out to all my patrons i want to give a shout out to anyone who's ever purchased a reading who's inquired about a reading anyone who's ever liked or subscribed to the channel shared my videos all of my moderators all of my divine feminine friends my close Dia friends who support my work and support the channel. And I'm just extremely grateful. So thank you to all of you. I've had a few of you asking, how can I support the channel? Those are many of the ways that you can support the channel. And I also have an Amazon wish list like many readers. So if you'd like to take a look over there, if you feel so called at any point in time, that's always appreciated. And I do have a PayPal, so you can always donate to the channel that way. And I wanted to let you guys know that as we, as we build up here to Lionsgate 8-8, 2021, I'm gonna be doing dedicated videos for Lionsgate and a dedicated video over on Patreon for all of my Patreon supporters. And we've got some exciting things coming, guys. You know you've heard me talking about Holly, the Twin Flame Healer. She's gonna be live on the channel Tuesday at 12 o'clock noon Eastern time. 12 o'clock noon Eastern time this Tuesday. That will be Tuesday, July 20th, 2021 at 12 o'clock Eastern noon time. So she's gonna be doing some many readings, guys. I think we've decided on 10, 10 minute readings, maybe 15 minute readings. And what I'm going to do is I will share her email below. If you'd like a reading, a live reading, Tuesday, 12 o'clock Eastern time, this coming Tuesday, July 20th, you will have to get on the list. You will have to contact her. You will have to PayPal her, her in advance. And she will be doing live readings so that you guys can not only meet her, but you can get an idea of how incredible and how incredibly gifted and intuitive she is. So I'm going to have her email in the description box below, along with the Patreon link and the Amazon link and all of that good stuff, like always. And you can reach out to Holly and say, hey, Holly, I'm going to be live on Tuesday. I would like a personal reading from you. And she will take care of, she will send you her PayPal link. So that way she can control the number of people that she's able to do because I, we don't want to overexert her um, healing. As you know, healing work takes a lot of energy. So I'm super excited to have her on the channel. She's super excited to be here and come on over. Even if you're not up for a healing that day, come on over, give her some support, meet her. She's a fabulous, incredible divine feminine. So super excited. I'll be announcing that also tomorrow. So super excited for that. Um, yeah. So let us get into the reading here, guys. We have the Starseed Oracle, the Syrian Starseed Tarot, the Hero's Journey Dream Oracle, and the Light Seer's Tarot, just to clarify the cards that I'm choosing or the cards that are chosen rather from the Syrian Starseed Tarot. The reason I went with the Starseed Oracle is because I feel as though there's such an up leveling right now as we like literally round the corner to Lionsgate. You guys have been hearing me say this. If you're new to the channel, go back and watch videos from the past week or two. Okay, reunions. Unions are happening. We are walking in union energy at this time. The union portal is open, okay? It's a lot of pre-union energy preparation, okay, for the, for the actual union, the physical and spiritual full harmonious union. I am not one of those twin flame readers who says you came here just to experience hell and heaven on earth and then not have your twin flame. That is not who I am. If you want to be with your twin flame, you can be with your twin flame. Okay. This is a beautiful dynamic. It is you and you. It is you having a conversation with you, you having a relationship or connection with you. Okay. It is basically you in another body walking around having these different visceral experiences on planet earth so when your twin flame is triggering the shit out of you as they like to do and as we do them instead of blaming or pointing a finger 
let us all take a step back, look deeply within ourselves and ask ourselves, where is it that I might be A, betraying myself, B, lying to myself, C, cheating myself, or D, in some way not being honest with myself? A lot of the DMs are in this deceptive sort of trickster energy right now. It's coming out in private readings. It's coming out in collective readings. Why is that feminine? Because we have inner DM, inner divine masculine energies to heal. We need to get honest about where we have our weaknesses in the masculine energy. If you're a feminine watching, you have an inner divine masculine energy. Your outer divine masculine has no choice but to reflect to you the wounds of that masculine energy inside of you, the unhealed wounds, just as you have no choice but to reflect back to him or her the unhealed feminine wounds. So we're going to be taking a look at what is happening within the dynamic. And there's a lot more that I could say. I actually have a written post from a few days ago over on Patreon. A lot of you check that out. And it's about the Divine Masculine's Dark Night of the Soul, the darkest night of the soul, the ego death that they're currently traveling through. Have a look over there, guys. Join us over on Patreon. So let's have a look, see here. Let's get just the overarching energies. Just too many cards. Let's get divine feminine card, please. Okay, let's try it that way. Ascension, the world. And the three of pentacles, yes. Feminines, you are realizing that you can have it all. You have reached a stage or a level, let's say, of your ascension process whereby literally anything and everything is possible. Everything is in the palm of your hand. You've got, see, she's got the globe, the world in the palm of her hand. She also has, you see the phases of the moon here. She's been, this is the hero's journey through the major arcana. She's been through all cycles of the moon over and over and over again, many, many nights, many days. And then she's got the energy here of the porpoise, of the dolphin, right? So dolphins, for me, it's love. It's unconditional love. It's also emotional intelligence. Um, it is joy, the joy bringers, the dolphins, the joy bringers, they're playful. Um, they're also very social creatures and we see that there's a pair here of two of them. So to me, that's two of cups energy. She's got the energy of the moon intuition. She's got, she's the high priestess, the medicine woman. She's the king, the queen. She's the page, she's the knight. She's everything all wrapped into one. And she started off on her fool's journey and she's completed a karmic lesson. She's completed a karmic cycle. And now she's ready to work together. She's ready to work together in the physical realm here, the three of pentacles. So this to me indicates a job well done, divine feminine. TJ, pardon. So job well done for the divine feminines. So let's get some clarification here if, if, <laughs> The cat will allow us. <laughs> He's out. He's gone. Just wanted to show his beautiful face. Let's get some clarification here for... Thank you. Clarification here for the Divine Feminine. She's moving towards cooperative work. We've been seeing that a lot for the Divine Feminines. The Trinity energy. I feel like this also, the Trinity energy to me and the Three of Pentacles here is also talking about the Divine Feminine and Divine Masculine and God, right? The relationship that they both have with God. If you're praying for your twin flame and they're praying for you, beautiful, miraculous things can occur. Sometimes on this journey, oftentimes we just have to give it up to God. Spirit, can you clarify, please, the world card for the Divine Feminine? 
there's a choice now to be made because now she'll be stepping into a brand new cycle, that zero point energy, that zero point field, the energy of the fool again. She'll be stepping into that, but much, much wiser. So it'll be like an enlightened fool energy, if you will. So she'll be stepping into that energy, using all the tools and the tricks of the trade that she's learned from this go round. So we have the two of pentacles making a decision. I often see this on the twin flame journey because there's often a decision, the twin flame or the soulmate, right? Walking away, staying, you know, do I let go? Do I walk away? Do I stay put? And what I've always found interesting about this card is it looks like her clothes are backwards. So it's almost as if the feminine has been sort of turned upside down and inside out on this journey. And I feel like she's just coming to a place where she is now having to just she's been juggling different aspects of herself on this journey or juggling different obligations but she's seeking harmony now and she's seeking it through i feel other divine feminines yeah and look to clarify the three of pentacles for the feminine we have the ten of pentacles one of my all-time favorite cards this is that i mean happiness in every aspect of life in every corner of your life, happiness, look, the children, the dog, the home, the partner, um, the pentacles, the abundance, you have everything, the laughter, the joy, the lightness, like we've created this. We've created this together. You can just see that there's, there's this partnership. So yeah, it's the partnering of the mind, the partnering of the heart, the partnering of the soul, the partnering of the home, uh, raising the children, creating, you know, a village. This is definitely the energy here for the divine feminine of reaching like coming to coming full circle on something the ten of pentacles something you know this is another card for the completion of a cycle in the physical realm feminines there's a lot to look forward to that i feel like many of you aren't aware of um or many of you just feel like i've i've been seeking happiness my whole life it's been evasive Hold on tight, feminines, because things are about to really shift for you, okay? Trust me on this. And if you're new to this journey and you're like, what the hell is going on? My world just got turned in, <laughs> upside down and inside out. My readings may apply to you in certain areas and they may seem a little confusing in other areas because I tend to read for the first waivers. But know that if you aren't a first waver, if you're a second, third, fourth wave, just understand that these energies will catch up to you. And it's always good to have a better and greater understanding of what's going on in your twin flame dynamic. Like what the hell's going on? Masculines, we have again the death card, the death and rebirth, scorpionic energy, the phoenix rising. Masculines over and over and over again are receiving the death card or some aspect of a cycle ending, a cycle beginning. Now it's happening for the feminines as well, but it's a very different energy. The feminines, the world card is a very different energy, right? Than the death card. The world card, oftentimes we see the death card, it's a scary energy. What does that mean? Is, is this a physical death? No, it's not a physical death. The world card is seen as a completion energy. It's seen as joy and wholeness, happy endings, abundance, abundant success, um, consciousness, the lifting of consciousness, the ascension. Whereas the death card is oftentimes, again, it's, it's feared. The death card, it's like, what does that mean? Like what parts of me are dying? And so masculines, what parts of you are falling away? Many masculines right now are going through an identity crisis, if you will. They're going through this dark night of the soul where they don't know who they are, what they're doing, why they're doing it. Um, it's an initiation process or a rite of passage for the divine masculines. I can't stress how important this process is. And I've also been talking about not interrupting the process, divine feminine. We tend to want to interrupt the process and show them and teach them and guide them. But we have to remember there was nobody showing us, teaching us or guiding us when we went through our dark night of the soul. So if you can get through it and your masculine is another variation of you they can get through it on their own they don't need us sending them tarot card readings or articles or look up this twin flame or they don't need any of that they're gonna they 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 want the pride of knowing that they came to this conclusion all on their own 
They're going through massive cycles of transformation, guys. It's literally a rebirth, a transition, a rebirth of the masculines. They're gonna feel like, I don't even know who I am. A lot of them are having this feeling, this, this like anxiety feeling of, I don't even recognize my life. I don't recognize my choices. I don't recognize my body. I don't recognize my belief system. I don't recognize anything. And they're freaking out. But they're also, as they change their belief system and undergo this identity transformation, they're emerging a new person. But that can, what's happening is the feminines are getting communication and the masculines are coming through and the feminines like they're in the midst of this transformation and they're sort of clinging to the feminine for support and for comfort and the, and love and the feminines like I don't like who are you right now and they may not be in the best of energies guys they may be in some pretty dark energy and they may be in even a taker energy so the feminine has to put up these healthy boundaries because you're going through your own stuff your own cycle endings right now feminine you can't be helping them go through this. They have to mourn what was and welcome what is coming on their own. It's not your job. Spirit, what else can you tell me about the death card? For the masculines. I do see a new beginning in love. And this is the reunion energy that I've been talking about, the page of cups energy. Um, a lot of feminines are like, yeah, right. When pigs fly, I'll believe that that's going to happen. Feminines hold faith, <coughs> hold steady and hold tight to your faith. <coughs> your masculine, when they come through, they may come through and communicate in some immature energy because again, they're moving through this dark night. They're trying to figure out, they're getting their bearings in this new world and this new identity, okay, that is being created literally from the ground up. Um, but they are thinking about you, feminine. They are, it's like they're, <clears throat> they're feeling you. You can see this person is radiating love and he's got these sort of waves of energy coming off of him. He's thinking about doing something, but the page, the page energy is typically uh, like a novice type energy a beginner type energy so he just it, it may come off like he doesn't know what he's doing as he's approaching you again it's gonna it's just very strange energies right now very like masculines are coming in hot and heavy but they're they don't have their footing yet guys now he's also got the king of wands so this transition is taking your masculine from that page energy into a king energy he's literally being transformed he's courageous this is that leo energy as we step into leo season in a few days here we'll be in leo season coming out of cancer season right thank god out of the realm of emotions the teary energy the weepy energy into the realm of the sun right leo is ruled by the sun so happiness joy expansion um, positivity, good luck, just that, that regal, fortunate energy, it's coming in. And this is a man who is a decisive leader. He knows what he wants and he goes after it. This is exactly what the feminine has been looking for and searching for in the masculine, wondering, is he ever going to actually emerge as this king? Divine Feminine. What is the Divine Feminine working on right now? <clears throat> you are in the void space. The great cosmic womb. Feminines, this is a sign that it's time for you to stop just surrender just be don't do stop the chasing stop the wondering stop the talking about the divine masculine i'm guilty of these things too we all are <clears throat> but it's time for the feminine to really just enjoy this process enjoy being in this world energy this three of pentacles energy and creation energy <clears throat> with the empress that you are the divine medicine woman that you are enjoy this process your masculine's moving through change 
it's not your job to fix him or heal him. It is his job to fix and heal himself. <clears throat> this speaks to me of the final wrap up of the codependency energies that we're working through, guys. <clears throat> When you feel like you need to reach out, feminine, go do something for yourself. What lights you up? What is that thing? What lights you up? What makes you happy? Everything begins in the void. So it's often, this is like death energy here. <clears throat> transition the void it's often something we fear but look you both are in similar energies the masculine's in the death energy rebirth energy the feminine's also in that space she's just moving through it differently she's moving through it she's sort of dancing through it the masculine's sort of being propelled into it if you will <clears throat> but this is this fertile place the void is the most fertile place because it's a place where anything and everything is possible it's a place where you shed your identity just like the masculines. It's the place where you're like, everything, there are limitless possibilities here. I can be anything, anyone, I can do anything, <clears throat> I can accomplish anything, I can create anything. I am no body, no one, and no thing in this place. You are both in the same space. How beautiful. Now, it's also, while it's a comforting energy, it's also scary and intimidating because it's so expansive. It's freeing, but the ego, again, the ego's like, oh my God, both of you are experiencing this sort of ego death. Well, if I don't know what happens next, when are they gonna call, when will I see them? What does that mean? They came in, they saw me, what, is that, what does that mean? I don't, I don't know. Stop, just stop and simply be and simply surrender to the unknown. Allow the seeds of darkness to plant something incredible for you and trust that it's going to be better than you could have ever planted or created for yourself. Masculines. <clears throat> Masculine, the seas of Mintaka. <clears throat> We're talking about some masculines that may have been Mintakan star seeds, the original star seeds from the oceanic utopia. Seeing potential and bringing the unconscious to light. The Mintakan star seed saw potential in everyone and everything. They did not see faults. I'm a Mintakan star seed. We don't see faults. We see potential. We see, and this oftentimes in the earthly realm means we have codependent tendencies to heal because we see the good in everything, <clears throat> everyone, regardless of what we're being shown. The masculines are bringing the unconscious fears, the unconscious belief systems, the stories that they've told themselves. Why you can't, why can't I be with my feminine? Why can't I accept this love? Why, why, why? We're different, we're this, we're that. <clears throat> I'm not good enough. She's, she's too good for me. It, this, it goes on and on and on. I don't deserve love, I don't deserve happiness. It goes on and on. All of this, the unconscious systems that are playing out, those programs, those belief systems are all being shattered right now. They're, they actually just showed me an image of glass being shattered. And that's the literally the glass that was holding, containing the masculines in these programs that they were running. Narcissistic programs, programs of power, the programs of clinging to the 3D, to material things, the programs of pushing the feminine away, the programs of acting out in shadow energies acting out their shadows the unhealed shadow the unhealed masculine distorted masculine energy distorted feminine energy they held all of that within themselves it's all coming to the surface now but guys this is not a pretty process there's a lot more that happens between here and here they're shedding old skins and as they shed these skins they don't want to be alone because all of this unconsciousness, they're having to deal with it consciously. They're having, it's coming up to the surface, finally. But they're also seeing the potential. They're going to start to see the potential in themselves and you. Guys, they're going to have like a come to God aha moment where all of a sudden they go, holy shit, how did I not see it before? 
This is the absolute love of my life. They're going to recall past lives. They're going to have these moments where they're being shown by God, by the creator, that this is a connection divinely ordained by God. Especially if they're religious, but even if they're not, they're going to have moments, they're going to have moments of clarity, moments of deep and keen perception where they really truly understand this connection and why you've been so adamant, why, why you've been so adamant in bringing the two of you together. There's mission work, masculines. All right, let's get some union energy. That's perfect. Trust the timing for the union energy. Trust the wave you came in on. Time is not running out. This goes for anyone who's struggling with timing right now. I've been on this journey for X amount of years. Um, nothing changes, guys. Don't, don't affirm those things, first of all. Don't focus on the lack. Don't focus on the time you've been on this journey. Focus on what's coming. Focus on what's right in front of you. Trust that you're being led to exactly where you need to be at the right time. She's not, look, she's not struggling. She's not rushing. She's just allowing. The waves are carrying her forward more and more and more. So this is for both feminines and masculines. You know, a lot of the masculines, like, especially my masculines who are late 40s, 50s, 60s, are feeling like time is running out. Um, and yet what's interesting is that these masculines do want to have families and children with you, divine feminine. Regardless of what their 3D self is saying in distortion, their immaculate self, their true 5D self. I mean, if you're going to have a child with your masculine, it's already been pre-planned. There's a child waiting. It will happen. These masculines absolutely want children and a family and marriage with the divine feminine. They want everything they never had before they know this is different and they're going to get to a place where they trust it where you're on the same page you're both healed and you're both moving forward into that union energy Masculines, never a crowd on the leading edge. Honor those who honor you. Feminines, stop in, stop and take in the view. Take stock of the treasures you've earned. I feel like that's what the feminine's doing right now. The feminine's sort of um, appreciating where she's been, where she is, and where she's going, sort of all at the same time, right? Simultaneously appreciating all aspects of this journey this is the reward stage feminines and <laughs> you know you're being like you know you're going to receive what you asked for what you came for it's just a matter of the timing and it's a matter of can you stay open with a grateful heart how many times have you shut down on this journey or shut out your masculine which is really shutting out part of yourself There is no like future, there is no past, there's only now, right? There is no there, there's only here. There's only this now moment. So feminines, I feel like you're really starting to comprehend just the beauty of this journey and, and stop and take time to relax, take time like, oh, just sit back and appreciate even the parts of this journey that have been super challenging. Appreciate the pain, appreciate the beauty all the moments in divine masculines you're in the trial stage okay the road of trials yeah no kidding right you're in the dark night of the soul um so the masculines are realizing that 
there are people in their life who are worth having around and there are people in their lives they've had to sort of dispose of. They're starting to tap into soul brothers and soul sisters and soul family to where these people are going to go. They might even use the words twin, the phrase twin flame. They may say soulmate, but they're going to describe something very similar to what the masculine's going through. And suddenly the masculine's going to feel like, you know what? I'm not alone and I'm not crazy. So they're going to be validated and it's going to reinvigorate the masculine's belief in this journey. They're starting to meet kindred souls. And what's happening is these kindred souls are reflecting into reflecting back to the masculine, their own courage, wisdom, their adventurous spirit, the love that they are, the love that they deserve, the love that they can give, the love that they can receive. I think this is so beautiful for the masculines. What a, what a support system for the masculines, which is exactly what they need right now. So guys, that has been your twin flame reading for today, July 18th, Sunday. Don't forget, if you're interested, I'm going to have Holly's information below in her email. Please send her an email and she'll send you the payment information. Let her know. It will be prepayment and we'll have you on a list there and she'll get to everyone. I don't know how many people she's going to take. That'll be up to her, but she's going to be on the channel. If you're just joining in, Holly is a twin flame healer. She's a beautiful divine feminine, a close friend of mine, and she is going to be doing many healings on Tuesday, 12 p.m. Eastern time on the channel. It will be a live video. Please tune in. Even if you don't get a reading, please tune in to just support her, support what she's doing, see what she's doing so you can have an understanding because trust me, you're going to want to get a healing of your own. Take such good care, guys. I'll see you tomorrow. Be well and God bless.